Welcome back to Sunday Bible Stories. Hi. Hi. Everybody, close your eyes. Oh my God, all the blessings are making me so thankful to all my friends, all the love I have, all the love I have, all the love I have. Welcome to it. Amen. Amen. We're all in this together and we're having fun. We're here to spread the love of God to everyone. Gonna get a little crazy and a little wild. Here we go now. Come give it a try. Move it to the left now. Move it to the right. Find someone you don't know. Give them a high five. Stomp your feet loud and wave your hands up high. Find somebody else now. Give them a high five. Oh, 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 oh. We're all in this together and we're having fun. We're here to spread the love of God to everyone. Gonna get a little crazy in a little while. Here we go now. Come give it a try. Move it to the left now. Move it to the right. Find someone you don't know. Give them a high five. Stomp your feet louder. Wave your hands up high. Find somebody else now. Give them a high five. Oh, 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 oh. It's still time. Are you ready to hear the story? Yes. Let's begin. Today. After as the Israelites fought their way for to the land that was promised to them by God, God, one of the new powerful cities in this new land was so afraid that they tricked the Israelites into making a deal for peace. Peace. It wasn't soon before the king of Jerusalem heard about this, and he wasn't happy. Soon he teamed up with other five kings and planned to attack Gibeon to weaken Israel. Then, then, then when the then the then when the Gibeonites found out what the five Amorite kings were planning against him, they quickly sent word to Joshua. They said to Joshua, Joshua, help us! Don't leave your servants to fight alone. Then Joshua, then God. Told Joshua, "Do not be afraid. I have delivered them into your hands, so none of them will stand a chance against you." Then, then Joshua prepared all of his crew, crew to attack, especially his best fighting men. Then they, then they soon caught up with the battle and surprised the surprised the Amorite kings on an attack. Then they chased down the Amorite king. While they ran for their lives with sword, then God brought down hailstones on them. More of them died by the hailstones than the swords of the Israelites. Joshua and his crew would not step out until the five Amorite kings were full, completely destroyed. But they were running out of time. Joshua prayed to God and said, "Let the sun stand over Gibeon." Then the Israelites defeated the Amorite kings. Amen. Let's begin. Let's tell us some Bible stories with another new story.